of humility that covers fleshly indulgence. Colossians 2, 20-23 Wherefore, if you be dead with Christ from the rudiments of the world, why, as though living in the world, are you subject to ordinances, touch not, taste not, handle not, which all are to perish with the using after the commandments and doctrines of men? Which things have indeed a show of wisdom in will worship and humility and neglecting of the body, not in any honor to the satisfying of the flesh. These things have a show. They put on a big display of wisdom in so-called humility. They come across as so humble and yet they are so proud. It is a show of humility and self-chosen worship. In other words, I choose how I worship God in a way that I can handle and I make the standard for everyone else. None of these things actually avail against the indulgence of the flesh. The indulgence of the flesh has to do with your personal pride and the things in your heart. Remember, Jesus said, it's not the outside of the cup that you clean, Matthew 23, 25, and Luke eleven thirty nine, 39. And it's not the things that come into the body that defile a man, but what proceeds from his heart, Matthew 15, 8. People make a big deal about how Jesus drank wine. Yes, he drank wine. And at the marriage supper, he brought out the best wine at the end through a miracle. He's not against wine. God gave it to us to cheer our hearts, but it also takes away inhibitions so that the civilized veneer you have, veneer that you have, the show you put on for others is taken off and what you really are comes out. (laughs) Amen. If you have all kinds of problems in your heart and you are putting on a fake display for people, Then if you were to drink wine, that fake display falls down and the hidden ugliness comes out. Jesus was absolutely pure inside and out, inside and out. So he could drink wine and the drink could cheer his heart. Nothing impure came out because there was no difference between his outward appearance and his inward reality. Amen. Again, It's not about cleansing the outside of the cup. It really is a matter of the heart. Fleshly indulgence has to do with whether you are holding the head or you are indulging your own carnal mind and your own so-called spirituality, whatever it is, and you are handling yourself and not Christ. As Paul says in Titus 1.15, To the pure, all things are pure, and to them that are defiled, and unbelieving is nothing pure, but even their mind and conscience is defiled. Amen.